five fellow lock pickers and we have for us today a seven pin challenge lock pinned up by Hampos and uh, we shall see this is the first time I've had a go the only thing that I have done is gone through all my tension wrenches to see if there's anything that'll fit which that does and I think we'll be here yeah, we can get top of the keyway should we need it as well. And I shall have a go at using my new pick from John Eggington. And let's have a, a little play. So, some nice, nice crunching already. So... I'm not sure if that was a small turn on the core. And we are in. In like that. Right, let's just uh, have another, another crack at that. That was probably just an absolute fluke. Set something in. I think I might have just got lucky on that first go. Feel myself getting trapped more and more with some of those pins now. <laughs> I should have took that first open. Reset, reset. Come on, let's give that a little stroke with the magic pick. Just held up or something at the back, I reckon. I've overset that all the way around, we got it back. So. I definitely got lucky on that first go. Right, let's just leave that one in there and we shall go top of the keyway this time. Go 
and by a few of these pins and this has got to be super light tension right, I'll set I'm going to set that another bit of movement there There we go, that was the back pin. We are in again. Right, fantastic. And that is a really, really fun lock. Right, let's move that to one side and get our pin in tray in. And I'm going to drop you down a bit. And let's see what we need to get in here. saying that I usually end up buggering it up and just locking it right, um, I'll do this without cutting myself All right, spin it around this everything out this morning and I tidied up and then posty came with these and I got so excited I've not got everything laying where I need it there we go brute force we're in well almost early balls that up right so looking good let's get a shim because we don't know what we've got in there Go. go, 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 wow, look at the size of that, alright, so, they all needed to be picked, and uh, we can see there's some trickery going on in there, so, let's dip these pins out, and I'll get them in it orientated the right way, and we'll have a little sneaky peek. One. So let's have a quick look up top. So yeah, we got thread in it in one and four, and some seriously cool key pins. And let's see what magic we've got up top. Some really cool homemade spool and again another serrated spool homemade look really cool some beautiful work. A nice deep spool. A nice serrated spool. That's pretty cool. I like that. Real tidy work. Oh, 
and have a nice deep, deep spool. Spin around the back. Small little serrated spool. And last. Another cool serrated spool. And I don't think there'll be any trickery up there. No, we're clean. That's fantastic. Right, let's get your pan down and have a look at these fantastic pins. These are really cool. Let's see if we can get you to focus. There we go. So yeah, look at the workmanship on here. Real nice deep deep spools. The key pins are brilliant, really, really nice. Oh, fantastic. Really, really fun lock. I shall uh, get this put back together and definitely have another go at that. So thank you so much for sending me this all the way from Sweden. Uh really, really fantastic. I shall um message you on Facebook and uh let you know all about it and uh, see if I can't send you something back. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. Thanks for joining me on this uh, cool challenge look. And we'll see you next time. Bye.